Welcome back, folks. We've got some fantastic news to share about Marvel Spider-Man 2. The anticipation keeps building as we learn more about the game. Today, we have some exciting updates on the release of new footage, insights into the voice acting, and discussion about the graphics. So, let's dive right into it. First off, let's talk about the voice acting. Yuri Lowenthal, the voice of Peter Parker or Spider-Man in the game, recently shared some intriguing details. He expressed his excitement about the recently released footage and mentioned the extra effort the team put into the capturing the essence of both regular Spidey and the symbiote suit. Lowenthal's portrayal of the rage and turmoil that Peter experiences when he dons the symbiote suit has impressed fans, and we can't wait to see more of it. Lowenthal revealed that they worked diligently as a team to find the right balance for Peter's voice. They wanted to avoid making it sound comical or cringy, ensuring it reflected genuine anger and emotion. To achieve this, they drew inspiration from addiction and the associated behaviors. It's a smart approach, considering the symbiote's influence in Peter and his struggle to resist its power. Lowenthal's past work as Sasuke in Naruto has drawn favorable comparisons to his current performance, further enhancing our expectations for his portrayal of Peter with a symbiote. Moving on, let's address the topic of graphics. Some discussions have arisen regarding a potential downgrade from the first trailer. However, let's clarify that the initial reveal trailer was captured in-engine but wasn't actual gameplay. It had been enhanced to create a more cinematic experience. Marvel Spider-Man 2, on the other hand, offers a larger city, enhanced traversal mechanics, and numerous new gameplay mechanics. With all this advancements, it's safe to say that the game will push the PlayStation 5's capabilities to their limits. James Stevenson from Insomniac Games directly addressed these concerns and reassured fans that there has been no graphical downgrade. So let's appreciate the stunning visuals and give credit where it's due. Now, on to the question of when we can expect more footage from the game. Fans have been eagerly waiting for a release date announcement since the gameplay demo. While we didn't receive one during the recent PlayStation Showcase, we have exciting news to share. Yuri Lowenthal himself hinted at an upcoming event, the Future Game Show Summer Showcase on June 10th. He and Laura Bailey, the voice of Mary Jane Watson, will be hosting the show and unveiling incredible world premieres, new trailers, and first looks at some of 2023's hottest games. This is a show you won't want to miss, especially considering the involvement of the Spider-Man duo. It's possible we'll get some exciting updates in Spider-Man 2 during the event. Overall, this summer promises to be filled with surprises and exciting marketing for Marvel Spider-Man 2. If Tony Todd's earlier statement about the game potentially releasing in September is accurate, then we're in for a thrilling and action-packed month. So mark your calendars and get ready for an incredible gaming experience. We'd love to hear your thoughts on all the news we share today. What aspect of the game are you most excited about? Is it Lowenthal's comments about the symbiote suit in his voice work, the confirmation of no graphical downgrade, or the upcoming event on June 10th? Share your opinions in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll catch you in the next update. Stay tuned for more exciting news and updates on Marvel Spider-Man 2. Until then, take care and keep your spidey senses tingling.